Hello everybody, it's SCD Mad Haven here today. And there's something that I really, really feel like I need to go over. So, we have a lot of players that are apparently coming into the game that I don't see them staying on the game. I do not see them staying for a very long time. Um, this morning, I've put in probably about 15 matches. And in the course of every single match, the only times I made silver today was whenever I ran my two times silver bonus. Or I had a decent match inside of a tier 8, along with a good match inside of a tier 8. But even inside my tier 8s, after I lost my silver bonuses, there were some matches I barely broke even. Now, I decided to say, I feel like playing a match inside my KV3. And the requirements for this match was, I was not allowed to fire a single premium round. So, what I did was, you know, I went through my ammo, I have 18 standards, 14 premiums, and a couple of high explosives inside my KV-3. A KV-3 is not a premium tank, this is a tech tree tank. I have a premium account as well. Now, every single match you go into, you're automatically in the whole 60,000 now if you're using premium consumables. And if you're using regular, non-premium consumables, which are a one-time use, you're at a massive disadvantage compared to a lot of players inside the matches who are using the premium consumables in order to get the 60 seconds to be able to repair again. So you ammo rack them once, they repair it, you get ammo racked, you repair it, and out of nowhere, you ammo rack them again, they repair it, they ammo rack you, and suddenly, you're out of the match the rest of the game with an ammo rack. So, you're, you're kind of forced to use the premium consumables. Now, players with premium accounts, premium accounts is usually what paid for your premium consumables. That extra 50% silver, so then you were making 30,000, 40,000 a match inside your tier 7s prior to this update, prior to 6.0 you were making silver every single game. With update 6.0, with the accuracy bonuses that every single tank has now, with the crew loadouts, gunsmith being broken, applying the 30% bonus to every single tank, artillery having massive reloads, and super pinpoint accuracy. As I'm backing up right here, you're going to see me. I've already used my... I haven't used anything yet, but another artillery shell hits. My radio operator's out. I'm tracked. So, I just used a repair kit. Not just that, I barely took any damage from that arty. They tracked me and killed my radio man. Now, perfectly placed shot against the KV-3. Okay, I'm not using any premium rounds this match at all. You know, and, and this is going to be a decent performance inside this tank too. KV-3 is one of those tanks that I'm keeping inside my garage just because I enjoy playing the thing. You know, it's a tank that I would like to get three marks on, or even two marks, or even a single mark. But, with the way that the matchmaking was going this morning, each time I played a tier 8, I only had one tier, like, one top tier game. The rest of them I was in 10s. And then each time I played 10, even whenever I had a match this morning that I did 6,000 damage, I still lost 40,000 silver. So, right there, tier 10 was suddenly unplayable. Now, I haven't played without the premium consumables. So, for you guys who don't play with premium consumables, let me know how much silver you're making every single match. But, there's just a couple of things that I, I really want to hit. One of them being the fact that Rather than making the standard consumables reusable for a single module, with the new system that they added for the UI, they they couldn't make a small selection tab, in, from what I'm thinking. Because you have two track icons now, which, rather than a single track icon, beforehand we chose what we wanted to repair. Which, making that on a cooldown, they, they would have been able to. But instead, with the whole new UI system, they want everything to repair instantly because it simplifies things. But then they don't want the premium consumables to match the non-premium consumables. And their argument for 
premium consumables right now is that they apply bonuses. Well, the standard consumables also apply bonuses. So for instance, your repair kit, the premium applies a 15% repair time. And that's the reason for why it charges you silver every single game, even if you don't use it. But the standards re apply a 10% repair time. So you're paying 17,000 for an additional 5% every single match, even if you don't use it. You're paying that 17,000 credits for that additional little percent. Not just that, med kits apply a little bit of a bonus towards crew protection. So let's take a look at the med kit. It is a 25% crew, like the crew is receiving damage, minus 25%. Then with the regular standard med kit, it is a 20%. But the difference being, they're reusable for the premium repair kits and the premium med kits. But let's say you don't use a single one, yet they're still charging you 40,000 a match for both of them, even if you don't even use them. So, as of this moment right now, since they had the discounts going for consumables and everything else, which I don't know why they did starting off the game, because none of this came to light until after all of the discounts were gone. So... End of the match, we had 6 kills, 2,614 damage, um, 1,363 experience. A pretty darn good game inside this tank. And we lost 13,000 silver. We did not fire a single premium round, but we did use everything. We used everything. So... Coming back to the score screen here, let's go ahead and jump over to medals. We had a Reaper, Hand of God, Sharpshooter, Fire for Effect, Bruiser, and Fire for Effect has caused more damage to enemy vehicles than the hit points of your vehicle. Along with that, we had a Top Gun, a High Caliber, a First Class Mastery Badge, a Duelist Medal, and then going over to the scoreboard, we took top of the board for our team, other than the Strav... Right here, that died. The Strum VK3601. Which is a premium, and he probably made money this match. Maybe. But in our KV3, we had a high caliber. We did not fire a single premium round. We had a good performance, and we still lost 13,000 silver. When we should have made silver. So your premium account, that applies a 50% bonus. You know, if, if I didn't have any of these on... I used my repair kit twice. I used my med kit once. I used my premium consumable every single time I was able to. To give me that extra reload time, extra repair time, extra everything that it applies. But as of right now, the game is unplayable for free-to-play players. I'm going to have to go make a new account, use free consumables, and just see the requirements for new players on what they have to achieve just in order to make silver. Because if I didn't have that premium account that match, and let's say I was a free-to-play player for that match, I would have lost 33,000 silver. So, as of right now, uh, let me know your guys' opinions down in the comments. I'll try my best to reply. But, I think I'll put a couple of matches in a tier 8 whenever I get home. But I, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. There's a lot of things that need to be fixed. And it needs to be fixed extremely soon. And hopefully they do. Um, until then, you guys, take it easy. I'm not quitting the game. There's just a lot of things that need to be fixed. And I'm a little irritated that they're not addressing these problems right away. So, yeah, that's... I, they say that they're trying to grow the game. They're trying to get more players on the game. Uh, two days ago, the queue was booming. Early mornings, I was looking at 240 inside the queue. This morning, the highest I saw was 72 players. The lowest I saw was 33. So, um, in my opinion, I'm seeing less people playing 
than what they're statistically saying is playing. And they can't tell me anything or say that I'm wrong because yesterday I put out my yearly battle results. You got to think, 6,500 matches in the course of a year and at least 3,000 of those in the past three months because I've been putting in about 1,000 games a month. They can't tell me anything because I've been watching the queues. I've been keeping track of everything that goes on. I'm a statistic freak. I like to go over statistics. I like to go over reviews. I like to go over a ton of other stuff. I, I enjoy the game. I don't want to see the game die. And what they're doing right now is basically forcing people to pay for tanks that have a silver bonus. That grinding out a tech tree is going to kill you. That's why for all the free-to-play players, um, they've given away the Defender. They've given away the Dragon. They've given away a ton of tanks. They made the 268 version 5 probably one of the most overpowered tank destroyers I've ever seen in my life on the game, basically for free. Along with that, the Concept 1B. And the Concept 1B is a good tank. It performs pretty good, you know. But during the last two weeks, we didn't really see what the game was like until after they took away all the discounts. Until we actually saw what was going on for premium consumables. Now, you could say that I can use regular consumables, but as I said before, I do not get the regenerating time, and people who are running them are outmatching me indefinitely. So, thanks for kicking it. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully they do fix these problems. I'm really hoping they do. So, until next time, take it easy. I'm out of here.